Hi everyone, this is Sundar Bharat and I'm here to explain uh, how to develop Windows 8 applications using C Sharp. So basically I, here I'm gonna tell you how to create a dialog. Actually I have a request that uh, I already did it in the j j using JavaScript but uh, I'll, I'm also doing with C Sharp as well. Uh, this is the basic tutorial. I don't. I'll create a series. Uh, not like. Um, I mean, I don't have a time to prepare these videos, but I. I will try to make that. You know, make a. Thing on my calendar, so uh, so that I can do it regularly. Thank you very much. And now I'm gonna show you how to create them. So basically, what we do is uh, open new project, go for with a new project, and uh, go to, Visual Studio. Visual C Sharp and um, you can see Windows Metro Style, but uh, now you, can, you may not see Metro Style because the Windows doesn't now it's not a Metro Style UI, it's a simple Windows 8 UI. Okay, so just go for blank API, sorry, blank app. So change it to your whatever you want. I say uh, demo Windows 8 app. I'm gonna sh I'm gonna do pretty things in this same solution, same application. So, uh, so for now, I'm gonna use this one. It's a demo Windows 8 app. So whenever you click on it, it will create packages and everything. It will get the libraries of the Windows 8, everything. So I'm really sorry about this. It's asking for some license. Okay, so so whenever it opens, it directly opens application directly. So you see, it's uh, app dot xaml dot cs file. Okay, now what we do is we close that and go to you can see main page. So double click on it. It's a simple thing that I'm not gonna do that much in this area. I just write the simple button event and. Uh, I will display the dialog that's it I don't want to use all the things and all the so uh, I mean I'll start the tutorial series using the differently okay so first thing is it's a basic thing whenever you do it so you can see this so it says hundred percent so go with the sixty six percent so that it, you know it fits into your window or else you can just go for say fifty percent that would be great Okay, that's cool. So now it looks complete your screen. This is a screen of the Windows. Okay, now if you go to this area, you see this is Windows 8. Okay, if you open any kind of application, any application, uh, just a take. Uh, um, so I will go for some. Okay, I'll go for game, which is cut. That. See, this is the game which you already have okay so this is you can use to I mean you can see it's occupies the whole screen of the application if you develop an application it you can it's gonna look same this way okay so now what we do is so I simply go here and click on this I'll change the color of the background because it's a very completely black so I don't want that so I'll just go here sorry taking some time yeah, sorry. click on it and go to properties and you can see brush and go there and you see background color is black I'll just go here yeah you can see different colors here so I just go your blue I like blue so I, a, yeah that is cool color so if you want to you know if you want any different colors or you know, if you want anything you, s you just want to use you, you need to know the sil little bit of silver light or WPF application so that you can easily understand the styles of this so, okay so if you want this way you can go with this way and yep so you see it looks good so basically I just I don't want this one so I just go, go there and white yeah now it looks you see it's a different kind of thing yeah now I go to toolbox and you can see the different toolbox items here. So 
this is the first time I'm using the Windows C Sharp tools here so that's why I mean Windows 8 C Sharp tools that's why it's taking some time so I'll just go to common tools so that you can so I just want a text box text block which says nothing over here so I simply go here properties properties and uh, sorry about that uh, yeah, I'll just go here. That would be better for me. Yeah, the so, so text says text blocks. I'll say um, enter your name, and not only that, save it and go to design view and you select that and go to properties. I'll say um, blue. Blue and uh, enter your name text. Not only that, I'll change the font sizes and all those so that you know it looks good. Uh, yeah, fonts from size. Yeah, uh, it's 11 pixels. I'll say it's uh, 20 pixels. So, uh, yeah, now you can see that. Yeah. So, I just go, so I'll put it in the middle. That would be great. So I'll just put it in the middle and not only that I'll just go here in the toolbox and get my text box as well so it's yeah it's a pretty huge one though so I'll just bring this one I don't want that much bigger one so I simply need a smaller one so here I put it now it looks good and then not only that and again I go and get my button as well. yep that's cool it looks good right yep so this is the button so I just go to properties and I'll change the button content to submit uh, and uh, the name of the button will be a different one I say BT and submit and so I'll just and that uh, change the text name as well text, text box name sorry I just go here and I'll change the text box name to txt a name I write the name so yeah, simply say name so now what what we have to do we, I need to create even to this particular button so double click on it or else yeah it's not working that way uh, just go to code so it's nothing there so simply what you write is go to XAML and, uh, you see the button I'll simply say oh uh, so click equals to yep it's automatically created that so just go here and you'll see button click one even so now here go here and put the one thing that's right oh, sorry I think why okay now what why we are writing that it's uh new program I mean it's, uh, it's introduced by 4.5 framework so it's it's like uh, you you're whenever you're running that particular function it stops the particular process and it 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 it, it will wait for some time to run that particular application and it will show the whatever you need on that time okay so basically it's a uh, very simple thing so I say var msg dialog equals to new message sorry uh, before writing your um, dialogues you need to include one more thing here uh, which is called um, using windows dot ui dot mess sorry pop -ups. 
so that I can include that so message dialog uh, options the content string content what kind of content you have to display or, or what kind of title you should display so and simply say uh, hello space plus txt dot text okay comma and the title welcome oh, sorry it's a text welcome to windows 8 app So this is how you write, and simply whenever you're calling this, so say await msg dialog dot. Here you simply write. I, I'm I'm going to show you a different ways, and, and you can create different buttons in the dialog. You can create a, uh, after creating that dialogs, you can write the functions for that dialogs. Okay, so but now I'm simply doing this simple example, so I'm not going to do bigger things uh, simply I uh, just write the program and um, I press F5 and it's running so after building that it automatically goes to yeah this is the splash screen it takes some time to load yeah now it's loaded now you see it's a it's a, this is how it looks so you can see whole screen and it's a checkbox basically I say Suri so after submitting this see so this is the title and this one is our content okay so this you see it everything is modeled and it, it's all when everything is disabled on the screen only this dialogue is enabled so when I click on that that's it it works that way cool right that's good so this is how you write the simple programming okay so next time we'll see a bit more and uh, first thing I'll start with the tiles how to work with the tiles and badges and uh, after that I'm going to create some application how to work with them and how to just do the same things in the JavaScript as well okay thank you very much um, please subscribe and please leave the comments thank you